Now, the All Saints Cathedral of the Anglican Church of Kenya has officially began celebrations to mark 100 years of existence. The congregation marked the grand crossover in a special midnight prayer service that was attended by Archbishop Jackson Olis Sapit and Nairobi County Governor Evans Kiderum. The church has lined up events in the year that will culminate in a grand service in November 2017. <laughs> Song and dance at the stroke of midnight is perhaps enough proof of just how elated the congregation gathered at the All Saints Cathedral was as they marked a century since the formation of the church. 100 years ago, in 1917, missionaries had the vision and resolve to build a national cathedral for the Anglican Church of Kenya that would outlive them for many generations on end. This thought would see congregants of the older generation pass over a torch, signifying the beginning of another century with a youth tasked with upholding the core values the church has lived by. Times have changed, but the advocacy role of this cathedral must remain strong even when our own is at the helm of government. We do not massage people's egos here, but we bruise them so that they may seek the Lord. Initially, the church was established to serve the European Anglicans, but after independence, the cathedral began to attract more African Anglicans with the consecration of the first Anglican bishop. The cathedral is registered under the National Museums of Kenya. The midnight church service signifies the beginning of the centenary celebration activities that will also see the launch of a strategic plan of the church, a service with death penalty prisoners in May, a service with Nairobi County on the 17th of September, and all this will culminate into a grand service on the 5th of November where Queen Elizabeth II is expected to attend. Akisa Wandera, KTN News.